is becoming rampant how young preachers are sent to their maker in rapid and unwarranted fashion. Another young Zimbabwean pastor based in Johannesburg was sent to his maker in cruel fashion just a month after young South African preacher Dwayne Gordon was down whilst ministering on live television. Pastor Isom Tombeni was found at a mortuary with a wound at the back of his head. The case was opened at El Dorado Park Police Station. A month ago, young Dwayne Gordon was ministering on the pulpit at the Eagles Christian Center in Newlands when armed men stormed the church and opened fire. Do not take lightly. Um, I normally say this. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the fear on his face. Oh, this is really sad. To avoid such instances. When you come to church, let the people with hands that are registered come with guns when they come to church. Worship. Some don't display your firearms. During the time of Nehemiah, they were building. With the other hand, the other one, they were holding a sword. So improve security in the churches, don't think My people, this is really sad. Ah, this is a pure indication that there's no power in all this shine. You remember this pastor, the one that misused the mouth with the with the with the traditional rulers in Ghana. He ended up begging them and all that. When they said no, he has to beg them publicly. He has to come to the church for church to be doing fasting and prayer and everything. They saw their best rights. Ah, the trespass against the Almighty God. They all went there for money. They make money. Now, the power of God has departed. The presence of God has departed. Glory is gone. The glory of God is no longer there. So all this shrine. Can you imagine what uh, Prophet Imboro was telling them. He's asking them to be coming to the church with guns. Can you imagine? So where is the power of God they profess that they have? Where is the Holy Spirit that they say they have? They pray for people. They are now in billion. In Boro is a billion. He has a lot of money. He did all this gimmick with Bushiri, Aflukai, all of them. They were just making South Africans. They were just making them. Now, they collected all this money and everything. They left the people with nothing. The young pastors that want to follow suit, they are the ones that is paying the price now with their lives. My people, know God for yourself. Stop running up and down all the churches. There's no God there. In Boro and Bushiri now, they are best enemies. I posted a video the other day. Bushiri actually claimed the responsibility uh, of what is going on right now in South Africa. He said, because they got rid of him. So, he said he's res responsible. So, the government will just walk into the church and we just get rid of the pastors like that. Look at how they walk into the church. Look at the fear in the face of God and the Dwan. Dwayne, Dwayne Godo, they actually got him down. They got him down. That was four weeks ago. Now they went back there and took another young pastor's lives. My people, know God for yourself. You don't have to be involved in all these things. You can worship God in your house. Know your Bible. Read your Bible. There's no God in all these men. They say they have protection. They have the power of God. They have everything. See how Satan is disgracing them here and there. See how Satan is disgracing them. Because they, they, they've sold their birthright. Once Satan offered Jesus and Jesus rejected it, they've collected it. They've collected the one fame, the one power, the one money. Now they've gotten it. And the power of God has departed from them. The presence of God has left them. And they are still lying here and there. Because they went to Satan and collect power. And Satan has no mercy. You have to be renew all these powers. If you don't have renew, 
he, 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 he will just take you out. My people, I saw this. I feel sorry for the family of these young people that are just losing their lives in the course of all this nonsense. And they are not even sure of where they are going. If you are so powerless that someone will just walk into the church and just without any, 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 any they, they, there's nothing that tells them. The spirit is not alerting them. No alerts, nothing. They just take them out like a chicken. This is very sad. They make Christianity, Christianity too weak. And people started questioning the power of God. My dear people, God is not there in the first place. That's why God is exposing them. To let you know that he is not there. So you have to know God for yourself. Salvation is personal. Read your Bible. Stop running up and down with all these men. They have nothing to offer you. I'm very sad with all these things, but what can we do? I see you on my next video. Bye for now.